take a day off videoing yesterday but <laughs> after the night before I was so rough I got up at I think 11 and I was in bed by 9 p.m. so um, other than some chicken wings at Hooters you haven't missed much uh, the gambling was pretty awful and then I just decided to uh, call it a day so I've come down to the Aria this morning just to say goodbye to Carol who's going home today um, I was hoping to meet her yesterday but obviously feeling rough I didn't so We'll see how today goes. I feel a lot more refreshed today. Um, yeah, and after the chaos of getting the Aria tattooed on my foot, um, I think you did a pretty good job to be fair. So I walked down to see Carol to say goodbye before she went, and um, I've now <laughs> invaded her breakfast. But it's really nice here at the Bardo Brasserie, so um, yeah, let's see what I get. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days No clouds in the sky, but I get away Feels like it's been a freaking decade Sorry, don't call me cause I'm gonna be on break Sunny day, sunny day, make way All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today Feels like it's been a freaking So it's 4pm, managed to drag Steve out of bed So, um, how you doing Steve? Well, I'm getting old, I need the afternoon nap But, okay Beauty sleep, they call that. <laughs> right, what's your t-shirt say today? Um, oh, it's Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? No, it's... Uh... It's pretty much your luck. Yes. Should say, Steve's luck, can we fix it? No, it's fucked. No, no, we, we're going to fix it. Yes, we are. Um, I think Jules is going to come and meet us in a bit, but we're off to Mandalay Bay now. Um, and see if Steve can lose some more money. Or, no, sorry, sorry, win some money. Okay, I want to lose weight, but gain some money. Lose weight and gain money, that's Steve's mantra. You should get a t-shirt with that made. <laughs> right, we'll see you in a sec. So we've, um, we're on dancing drums, and Steve's asked me, what button do we press? There's only one button to press, Steve. There we go. That went well. Probably the worst of the... Uh, yeah. Of all of them. Gotta do it though. Could have gone the other way. So dancing drums was pretty mean to us, so we've come on. So we've got extra spins and double up. Go on Steve, press the button. Let's see how it goes. Oh gosh. There's a, uh, a big screen. Come on. Also, the major would be nice. I've got a reposition here. Not exactly. Go on then, Steve. Press the button. We need some more. Yeah. One on the bottom. Come on. We've lost the bottom one now. So it's all on the top one. Well, hopefully the words will come through. It only takes one. Oh, it's a mini. <laughs> it's still 30, that's not bad. Come on. 
Yeah. That's the idea, we want them all filled. Oh, just two more for a casual 10 grand. I think that's, uh, come on. Dead spinning now. Last chance. One, two. Come on. It's not a terrible bonus though. Yeah, Steve's luck's been pretty damn awful, so yeah, for him, it's almost like winning a hand pay, eh, Steve? There we go, 73. So it would only be right for me to drag Steve up to the Skyfall Lounge, begrudgingly, to have a cocktail, <laughs> because I do like to do this every time we come. Steve, are you having a cocktail or? I might go for space dust. Going for a beer, look at the state of that view though. Never gets old for me. Wow. Well, good time to come up, Steve, as well. Probably get to see sunset. of the day today is the takeoff. Let's see what it's like. So today's cocktail of the day is the takeoff and uh, Steve said I couldn't find a camper glass but it's as if there should be an everlasting dog stop or something at the bottom. He'll never stop taking them and get out of me for my cocktails, but I'll never stop drinking them. So there's cocktail of the day today. Steve, I thought it would only be right if I'm doing a cocktail of the day up here for you to do your beer of the day. Um, so what have we got? Well, I've fallen back on the old favourite, Elysian Space Dust. You know Mark does Bud of the Day. You should just do Elysian of the Day because yeah. <laughs> that just seems to be what you drink. It's just eat mango IPA. It a is nice. A bit of Pope to it. A bit of Pope? What is it, 8%? 8.2 to split hairs. 8.2. Oh, OK. Sorry, I stand corrected. Well, cheers, Steve. Enjoy your beer. Yeah, good health. Just tell me that is not the best view in Vegas. It's incredible. And if there is a better one, let me know, because I want to go there. Wow. So that's the Skyfall done. Um, we're gonna go and get some dinner now. And uh, it was good. You actually managed to see this, the Skyfall Lounge once, Steve, because you had your cataracts operation. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Yeah, that yeah. was money well spent. So Steve spent to get his cataracts done just so he could see that. Brilliant. Great work. So we're, we're going to go get some dinner, uh, then hit some slots. Tonight's dinner is going to be brought to you by Blanca, which is a new place here at Mandalay Bay. Not seen it before, but it's a sports bar uh, come like burger place, steak place. So we're going to try this one. Um, although Steve's already moaned that the, st the steak's going to be too big for him. But hey, I could do with some food. Uh, yeah, I'll show you how it is. Be right back. Yeah, sunny days, sunny days, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking day. Fresh.
Fresh cut sushi on a platter, brandy honey, it don't matter shots Till I drop, drop, gonna be 24 7, golden hour like a boss And they say, yo, guess you gotta do I almost feel bad getting this because Steve wanted to play Zeus to get the power up to the maximum level, which I managed to do. Come on, oh. What we got? The power of Zeus. Boom. $200. Sorry, Steve. I feel bad. Steve, how's the gambling going? Um, I'm taking Matt's advice. What? And gambling heavier? Yeah. So you're going for a buy now feature? Let's see what happens. It could be shit, it could be good. What have you got? I think all the time. Oh. We've well, got one. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. What's he doing? He's jumping up and down. I've seen it before. You've watched it a few times, haven't you? Steve told me these are rubbish, so uh, I'm hoping it's not. And I did not bully him or coerce him into doing it. Ah, oh. Major would have been good there. So the pig's jumping up and down again. No, not that one. Come on. I mean, you might break even. Yeah. But this is an instant feature. Just save for faffing around of having to spin till you get one though, right? I made a small profit. Small profit. Well, it was worth it then, wasn't it, Steve? To pay seven, you get seventy-five. Yeah. Hang on, he's still going. He's still going. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this was a feat. I'm so glad because now he's won 700 odd dollars and he can't blame me that this wasn't worth buying. <laughs> oh, Steve, how's, how's, how's this little feature going for you? Shit. <laughs> oh, go on, get another major, that'd be a hand pay. Come on, keep going. Come on, piggy, you jump like a little piggy. Aww. It's too old to get. That's a good, that's a decent bonus. How can you not be happy with that? You told me these were rubbish. No, I said, you lose four of out of five. <laughs> oh, so you've got the one out of five. You could buy me a drink after this. I bullied you into this. Coerced, coerced. I'm not, there's no bullying. Certainly one myself. Come on, drop one. Do you know what, Steve? That is one hell of a bonus. You've yeah. deserved that luck after the terrible luck you've had. Have you got a black ration, please? Have a gin tonic, please. Wow. Are we going to watch it count up? <laughs> Here he goes. You deserve that, Steve. 
$764. So Steve now has the same feature from playing and we're going to see if it's as successful. Yeah, three spins later. As the uh, buyer feature. I um how much he dances. Do we dance all the way to the major? Well he's already up there look. Come on, keep going. Yeah. Still a good bonus so far. Yeah, I've been profit by ball here. Oh, I saw him go through there. We need another blue one. There we go. Come on, little piggy. He starts higher when you play it. Yeah, you're doing well. Come on, you're still in. And there's a blue one rolling through. I can see it. One more blue one. Oh, last spin. Oh, he's kept in, he's kept in. Come on. Oh. Do you know what? Considering that was, I think, three spins later. Yeah. That's a decent bonus. I don't think there's any point chasing the middle one now. No. I, th I think you've taken enough out of this machine. Oh, uh, yeah. There's, yeah. A there's a ticket and a half. Should we do one backup spin? One backup spin. <laughs> there we go. We're heading back to the Luxor now. I think. Uh, I think we might be done, but Steve is celebrating his little win. What flavour are you going for, Steve? I don't know, there's um, 16 million flavours. He's going to get himself an ice cream. It's like having a second child when you're out here with him. You've been a good boy, Steve. You can have an ice cream. Thank you. That view of Steve just watching his money roll up. No, I'm taking off Richard's advice, but he didn't tell me. <laughs> we'll be back if he gets anything more. Wow, an amazing win, Steve. So Steve started with 400 in here. He went up to a thousand, down to five nine two. He's chasing the Buffalo Heads. He wants to be in the fifteen head club, and he's not giving up until he is, or he's poor, one or the other. So yesterday was a uh, good evening. Yeah, good. I mean, the gambling was absolutely diabolical for me, but Steve hit some really big ones um, so I think he's happy because it was um, it's been a little while coming he's done quite a lot of gambling this holiday and not really hit anything so that was last night uh, one more night to go and then we go home so let's see what the last day brings see you next time good morning so I'm actually up and out early this morning, which I'm surprised. I didn't go to bed till probably two o'clock, half two. Um, it's nine o'clock in the morning. So um, I've come out for a walk. Uh, I think I'm gonna meet Julian now. I haven't seen him yet this trip, flew in yesterday. I think he was busy gambling in the Aria all night. So we didn't get to catch up yesterday. Um, so, I'm walking to meet him now. Steve's still in bed. Um, but I'll catch up with him in a bit once he's had his beauty sleep. 
uh, last day. A week's a long time in Vegas. <laughs> a little bit tired now. Um, I'm looking forward to getting home, um, even though I've had a great time out here. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely time to go home tomorrow. So, but I'm going to enjoy the last day. Um, hopefully, do a bit get better on the gambling today than I did yesterday. Um, and we've got some nice food today, so that'll be good. Anyway, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, here at the Aria, um, some white uh, meat jewels, and the salt and ivy for some breakfast. So, another place I've not been. Still, it's amazing how many new restaurants they pop up in these places. Um, and even if you come regularly, you just, you can't do them all. So, but it is nice to, um, call that the noise of those mobility scoots, I'll tell you what. I think I'll be dreaming about that noise for uh, months. Anyway, yeah, Salt and Ivy. I'm gonna go and catch up with Jules. So here's Jules, come to meet Jules. Good morning, everybody. And uh, we are here having some breakfast at Salt and Ivy, and these eggs Benedicts, I have to say, look incredible. And Jules has kindly said, uh, can use his room key so I can go and chill by the pool uh, today at the Aria, which is a really nice touch. So thank you very much, Jules. Cheers. Cheers. So taking a long way back to the Luxor. When will I ever learn not to walk? Um, maybe one day, but today's not that day. So I'm gonna get changed, um, meet up with Steve, and then we're gonna go meet Jules for some afternoon gambling back at the Luxor. Maybe I'll get a taxi that way. Um, and then get some dinner. Probably have a bit of an early one, so it's not so crazy tomorrow morning. We've got to check out about 10 o'clock-ish, I think. Uh, get ready to go to the airport, so. Yeah, that's the plan for the day. I'll show you any food or drinks. We'll see you in a bit. Finally dragged Steve out of bed, and he's made me come here because he, on his bucket list the whole time is to get a corn dog. God knows why, but it's something he wanted to do. So we're on our way to one? meet Jules. No, oh. it just looks not very nice. Was that one 12 foot? Sorry, 12 inch. 12 hot foot? Dog. 12 inch hot dog. Should have gone for the hot dog. Um, so we're grabbing this and then we're off to the Aria to meet Jules. Uh, hopefully that'll keep you going till dinner. Good. Right, last evening, let's go. So Steve, you had your corn dog, what did you think? Extremely mediocre. Like you've been, American cheese. You've been waiting for it's a, three years to have one of those. It's a box ticked. Won't be having any more of those. No, I'm not gonna put another box by it. Right, so we are nearly back at Aria. It's only the third time I've walked this today. Uh, well, they're back and then there. But hey, need to get those steps in after all the food and the alcohol, so uh, not too much of a problem. Let's make sure Steve doesn't kill anyone in his buggy on the way because I said to him, I don't really need health insurance, you need public liability insurance. Honest to God, liability. So we're here at the Aria and Steve has hit the wiggly feature at $6 a press. Go on, Steve. Good luck. Is that where you've got to get corns to fill up that? I have no idea. We'll find out. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's already not bad. Winner, winner. Oh, it's this one. Each one gets times two if you get another red coin. So red coins times two. Red. Okay, red mini. Is it times two even on a red mini or not? No, it's probably. Okay. Like that. Ah, so now they're all times two, so this will be a good bonus set. Yeah, it will be. Go, let's keep going, Steve. Yeah, there's room for another red one. 
five more red ones would be nice. Come on. Oh, come on, one more spin. Do you know what? That's half decent bonus, eh? I used better. Good start to the evening, Steve, here. So, Jules, I, I bullied you into... No, you did not. <laughs> you gently nudged me. I was like, sure, sure, let's do it. So, Jules is Diamond Queen, $20 a spin. Got him 1300 and you're still at 1300 so you're... Well, I'm at 1130. 1130. 1130. Sorry. Go on, Jules. All right, so everyone knows this game, right? We got, we they got must the... do. I mean, they must Guar see... Guaranteed hand pay, right are, are here. Are you excited, Uncle Steve? You've never seen this before, have you? No, so I'm not being prepared. Uh, hopefully, you are impressed. I will. Hopefully, he's impressed, but... Hopefully, all right, hopefully, people watching are impressed. Okay. I told you it was the right one to play, though, yeah, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you, you did. Good call. Alright, you get three spins. That's it. That's three. Alright, so here we go. The first one doesn't mean the first too one much. doesn't mean too much. Extra spin would be nice, but the first one is usually a bag of potatoes. That's alright. 45. Alright, here comes the second one. Now she's gonna move on over. There she goes. Alright. Come on, Doggy Come on. She's looking lovely. Come on, let's compliment her. Come on, Diamond Queen. Alright, so 265. There we go, there we go. Alright, now this is the one, Uncle Steve. This is the one where we need her to hit. She's blown out her hair. She's dressed for dinner. She's ready. She's ready. Alright, you just gotta let her take her time now. Come on, Diamond Queen. You come back from your dressing room and. Uh... <laughs> Alright. You never, you never know what you're going to get from this, but. It's, no, you don't. It's usually pretty good, but. It's normally pretty good, but yeah. it depends on the first symbol, really, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. What you want to get is some of those uh, Diamond Queen symbols, symbols either here or here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a good win regardless. You're still up on what you put in. We're up, we're up right? a little, yeah. We'd like to get a hand for here. We're on 310. Right, here she goes. Here she goes. She right. She's back. She's back. Right. Come on, DQ. Come on, DQ. Oh, it's 1,870. 1, so, Jules. That's unbelievable. You, you, you can say thank you uh, for uh, convincing uh, you to. Thank, thank you. You are a great advisor in the gambling world. I, I should be a, a, a slot of advisor. And he's advising. So there we go, 1,870. Well, 2,180. 2,180. And there is the hand bay. Well done, Jules. Ready to go to dinner. These guys would like a drink, yeah. So after Jules cleaning up on the machines. Well, you know, just another just another day. Just another day for Jules. Um, we're off to Carbone. For, is that how you say it, Jules? Carbone? Yes. For uh, great, great Italian food. For some Italian food. So, uh, I'll show you the... There we go. Let's go. So we're here at Carbone with Jules and Jules chose today's cocktail of the day, which is the espresso martini, which is one of my favourites. So, uh, cheers, Jules. Cheers. It's really good. Thanks for coming to dinner. Thank you very much. Cheers, everybody. So we got the base dressing. We got your egg, olive oil, garlic, corn shots, capers, pecorino romano cheese. Are in Carbone and they're making the salad at the table. Wow. Here's the share. Cracked pepper, of course, olive oil. Looking 
good. I'm gonna be honest, I've never wanted a salad as much. I mean, he was mixing nothing and then just threw that. Just... <laughs> I wouldn't have the patience to do this. <laughs> That's looking incredible. I said I've never wanted a salad so much. I know the salad. I, they make you like taste it before, like you, yeah, it's even on your table. And there we go. I think Wow, well, I'll be back with the more food. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on break. Got the tropical, a fresh car sushi on a platter, pretty honey. So we've got the veal parmesan. Here at Carbo. Yes, Ben copy me. I did copy okay. you, Jules. But okay. do you know why? It's because we had the... We're going to compare it to Sinatra. Yes, right. and the chicken parmesan, which is incredible. So if this is good, I'm going to let you know. Uh, but so far, very, very impressed with Carbo. Yeah, the, the appetizer was amazing. Absolutely. I can't recommend great. enough the... What was the, the lobster ravioli? Yeah, right? that was so good. And it, just the atmosphere in here in general is just... Absolutely lovely. I feel like you're a movie star. Yeah, it's good. It's got a nice vibe. So, lovely last evening with Jules. Um, and pretty much that's it. Um, another week done in Vegas. So, trip 14, complete. Gambling's been not as bad as last year, but not as good as I'd like to hope. But, had an amazing time. Um, Met some new really good friends and saw some of my existing ones. My favourite moment has to see Gaz and Steph renewing their vows. That was pretty special. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'm back to my. I'm going back to my room now because I've got to be up pretty early to get stuff ready to go home. But, trip 14 done and I'll uh, see everyone in March hopefully someone's all, all goes to plan